Uh, thank you very much, uh, Chairman Alexander. Uh, thank you both uh, for your forbearance and for your um, sound and solid leadership of uh, this subcommittee and others. Um, and thank you uh, for your service and for the opportunity to uh, talk with you today about uh, the Army Corps of Engineers. Um, I have been uh, particularly uh, pleased uh, with the service of uh, the uh, colonel who is uh, charged uh, with the Philadelphia District, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Mike Bliss, uh, and I am uh, grateful uh, for your continued support uh, for a project that's near and dear to my constituents, the Delaware River dredging. Um, I am pleased there's another $55 million overall in the work plan to complete the project, so I just want to start by saying thank you, uh, since I know not every uh, opportunity is taken uh, to thank you for uh, budget support and for uh, leadership. Um, if I might, uh, Assistant Secretary Darcy, just want to talk about uh, Delaware's beaches. Um, we have uh, several uh, world-class beaches. They are a key driver of tourism in our region, and they're uh, essential to the economy of uh, southern Delaware. Um, we uh, had a significant storm recently that imposed some uh, very hard damage. We were grateful for previous investment in beach nourishment um, that protected those beaches, uh, but most of what had been provided in recent years was uh, torn away, and that's left a lot of our coastal communities and their infrastructure exposed. Uh, and I am uh, hopeful uh, that we can work together to find resources. The president's budget, to my disappointment, uh, did not include uh, funding for Bethany Beach or South Bethany Beach. Um, and as the project information reports uh, from the Philadelphia district come into your office uh, describing damage to Delaware's beaches, uh, I am hopeful uh, that you conclude that the Flood Control and Coastal Emergencies Act funds that remain unspent from Sandy could be used uh, for Rehoboth, Bethany, and South Bethany. Um, do you think that is possible or likely? Uh, and if not, what else do you think we could do uh, to rebuild Delaware's beaches and its coastal defenses? As you say, Senator, we are in the PIR, PIR stage, which is the project information reports, in order to inform us as to what exactly, what damages were, were done and what the actual cost of those repairs will be. As far as using Sandy supplemental funds, um, I'm going to have to defer because I believe that those can only be used for, for um, damages that were incurred from Superstorm Sandy as opposed to subsequent storms. Um, but again, I mean, that's something we will check into if the need be for that um, to be, if, if the need for the repairs um, is, is unmet. Um, given that um, just a visual inspection as well as detailed reports from a local a government leader suggests uh, to Delaware's congressional delegation that there will be some um, significant needs here. What funding source do you think is most likely relevant or appropriate um, to take action this year? Probably the FCC&E account. Um, that's our, our flood coastal emergency account. Um, but it would depend on how, they, um, how they're evaluated as far as relative to the most recent storm. Well, I'll join comments made by uh, other of my colleagues earlier in this hearing that uh, it is disappointing uh, that the administration's funding request is insufficient uh, for what are the likely needs of the whole country. And as a member of this subcommittee, I'm happy uh, to commit to continuing to support uh, needed increased funding uh, that will make it possible for you to address the needs of Delaware and many other states. Uh, let me also turn to the Port of Wilmington. Uh, it's uh, on a dredging cycle that really um, isn't sufficient to meet uh, the needs of this uh, port. It's a relatively small port, but uh, it's an important port for my home state. Uh, it silts in about every six to nine months, uh, and right now uh, it's causing ha havoc with a number of customers at the port, uh, and I'm hopeful that uh, going forward you'll consider uh, including funding for two dredging cycles a year. Is this something you're familiar with? Um, Senator, I'm aware that we did provide 16 O&M dredging um, for this port at $3.845 million, and also in the, the President's um, 17 budget request, we have $4.355 million for this. Uh, for the next dredging cycle. Um, so I think an additional dredging cycle is what your question is, sir. Yes. Um, I believe that currently we are budgeting on a single dredging cycle, and that's what I think those numbers reflect. Well, I'll urge you to reconsider based on uh, experience at the port, um, uh, two dredging cycles a year. And let me, in my closing uh, moments, um, simply recommend to you again um, funding for the Delaware River Basin Commission, um, although um, there is a congressionally approved compact uh, that requires a federal contribution. Uh, the federal contribution hasn't been forthcoming, I think, in 19 of the last 20 fiscal years. Um, I also am an advocate for the Harbor Maintenance Trust Fund. Um, you've made some significant, I think, uh, improvements. 
the request is higher, our funding um, has improved, but it's still 20% uh, less this year than what was appropriated last. Uh, and I think it would make a significant difference for harbors across the country, not just in my home state of Delaware. So uh, please note me as an advocate for um, working to ensure that the Harbor Maintenance Trust Fund is put to its appropriate purposes and that we invest to the level we need to in order to ensure that our um, export and import businesses that go through our vital uh, ports uh, and harbors are appropriately maintained. Yes, sir. Thank you very much.